This is a three-minute message brought to you by Redemption Church, Delray Beach. Well, it's important that as we read the Bible, we understand that it's full of truth. It's the reality that Jesus wants us to live in, and it points to God's character and His goodness, testifying of who He is and how to live this life. And one of these truths that the Bible speaks of is this is not our home. This isn't it, what you see, this earth. There's actually more to it, and there will be a day that Jesus comes back to judge the living and the dead, where there will be a new heavens and a new earth, and there will actually be a hell eternal damnation, condemnation, the wrath of God, and eternal separation from God. Now, in Jesus, we've been snatched from darkness into light. By His grace, we have been saved, and we can actually not fear all eternity, but actually have faith in Jesus and be hopeful, knowing His love, that He saves by grace. And so the Bible says He makes us that we're dead alive through faith in Him. And now we're to be heavenly minded, where we actually look forward to death, leaving this earth and going on to eternity with him. We live for our king right here and now as Jesus is Lord and Savior. The kingdom of God is allowing him to rule and reign in our hearts. But make no mistake, this isn't heaven. So we have to live by faith, trusting in this reality that Jesus is king. And the Bible tells us that now that Jesus is our King and is ruling and reigning in our hearts so the Kingdom of God is expanding, we are to have the mindset of Christ and to be heavenly minded, reminding us that we are exiles and sojourners, that this isn't our home. And in Mark chapter 13, well, we have this important reminder before us again in God's Word, that Jesus is coming back. He's coming back for His elect, His bride, His people, the church. And we will be made like Him with new resurrected bodies in heaven for all eternity. Now, no one knows the day or the hour when Jesus is coming back, but He does give us signs and He tells us to look. We should be looking for Jesus' return so that way it could affect our living. That's right. We're to live in the reality. This is why the Bible says, be aware. Don't be asleep, but be awake. Be aware that God is coming back and make the most of your day being wise because the days are evil. See, eternity is written in our hearts and so we should be living for eternity as Jesus, as our Lord, as our King. Jesus told us to invest and to store up our treasures in heaven so that way they wouldn't just perish on earth, but we would actually have this great investment in heaven, living for Him. And so... May we be living in the reality of this beautiful truth. Jesus is coming back for His bride, the church.